It's a, it's a quite a process. So it's a, it's a lot of work goes into uh, all these uh, trade uh, trade talks and uh, a lot of conversations. We put a lot of effort into it and thought we made a, a, a good valiant uh, effort at acquiring a, a really good pitcher and uh, and we fell short. So uh, uh, we feel good uh, about the players that we uh, we re, we uh, we kept in in, uh, in not doing a sale deal, but uh, obviously you know a, a great pitcher went over to the Red Sox. Like the kind of names that you were talking about, they're probably not the type of names you typically are willing to deal. Was there trepidation even with whatever was on the table? At that point yeah, you know, the, the 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 caliber of pitcher uh, available, you know, isn't often uh, uh, bantied about in the trade market. So you know, it, it's uh, he was a, he's a quality pitcher, so you're going to have to give up quality to get him. And uh, yeah, it, uh, it you know there was it was a it would it's a move that uh, you have three years of control of a really good pitcher, so you, you're going to have to give up a lot for him. And uh, and we felt that uh, we uh, we reached as far as we were going to reach for uh, for the in the in the trade, and uh, we fell short. When you have when you when you get to that non-negotiable point, though, do you still have an emotional reaction when you put all that work in? Yeah, you move on to the next. To the next, we pivot and we and we uh, we start uh, working on the next deal. We've got you know plans uh, A, B, and C in place, and uh, and when that door shuts, uh, another door opens. Is starting pitching still something you want, or was it the case of Chris Sale was out there and you got to take a shot at? Yeah, you know, Chris Sale was uh, you know he was uh, he's a player that uh, that you know improves any club, so he was uh, it was more about the the, the player that was available. Than the, than the position of need. So is closer still your number one need at this point? Well, we've got a lot of lines in the water. We're looking at a lot of different options and avenues to go, and uh, you know we've, uh, we've we've done a lot. We're, we're very active here, and uh, we'll, we'll continue to be. Mike, when when did you first start talking to the White Sox about that? What day? Oh, Across we talk, we, This is this has been a. We, we started you know bef before the meetings here. We, uh, we we've we've been engaged with them for you know for. You know, a couple of weeks and f informally, and then it ratcheted up right before the the uh, the meetings, and and obviously continued through it. Do you see any other fits on their roster? They've obviously kind of been pretty clear that they're willing to sell a lot of players. I mean, we uh, they've they've got some they've got some players of of interest uh, to a lot of teams, and uh, you know, like I said, we're you know there there's a, there's a lot of different avenues we can go, and we're going to continue to look.